welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Welcome back to the channel. To all my returning crew members, if you are here and you are new to the channel, welcome to Spend Too Much Diecast where we do all different types of unboxings, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Jada, Fast and the Furious, Fan Home, Marvel, Pink Slips, Disney Larkana, and much, much more. All right, so today we're gonna do a double header. We're gonna do the Hulk versus Spider-Man. So these are some cool ones. We have opened a lot of Marvel before, so definitely if you wanna see more, um, at the end screen, there will be the playlist for the Marvel chapter, which has all the Marvel cars that we've unboxed so far. There's plenty more out there that I still haven't gotten to, but um, I did pick up the Hulk a while ago, and I picked that one up a while ago too. But I wanted to do this Hulk versus Spider-Man just to do something um, different. Um, they are releasing some of these trucks, which are pretty cool their 1 24th scale. They do not come with figures or anything like that. It would be really cool if they actually made the trailers to go with the trucks as well. But this one is pretty cool. So we're gonna do the Hulk one, which is the Hulk in the 1992 Peterbilt 379, which is pretty cool. If you guys do like the other, if you guys do like these kind of trucks, I also have, um, a unboxing of the Transformers. When we open the new, new version, the old version of Optimus Prime, and the um, Echo One version, which is pretty cool. So this is the second time having a Hulk vehicle. We did get the one with the character and the um, Dodge Ram. So that was a pretty cool unboxing. And they do have a bunch of Spider-Man ones with figures. I have some of those, but we have not unboxed them. So that'll be coming coming next or sometime on this channel. So we have Spider-Man and this one is the Western Star um, 57X. And I will have to say that the box on this one is awesome. Look at like the cartoon in the back. So that is pretty cool. And then there is the truck there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get these unboxed and then we'll take a closer look at them. And just to, on the bottom, 2024. So both of these are from this year's release. So let's go ahead, get these things unboxed, take a closer look at these trucks, take a closer look at the paint jobs, and then you'll have to know, let me know which one you guys like the most. Alrighty crew, and we are back. Uh, these things look awesome. Like I said, I wish they do make trailers for these, but they don't. I'll have to track down. There's gotta be some company out there that makes uh, 1 24th scale trailers that would look awesome with this. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and start it off with the Hulk version, and then we'll take a look at the Spider-Man. So let's see what we got here. We got an item number of right here, three, five, 179 scale 1 24th they're saying it's a 1992 peterbilt 7 379 big rig which is pretty cool like i said they do make the transformers versions of these for um the um oh what is his name for the autobot optimus prime so these aren't new i do believe they also make these in like standard colors or just um, white and stuff like that. So it's not like it's a new casting, but it is new here for Marvel. Alrighty, so let's take a closer look at this. So the bottom is all plastic, not much going on down there. Uh, most of this is probably gonna be plastic, but we do have the front grill, front bumper. It is all plastic. The headlights are plastic. Uh, we don't get a logo or anything like that. It would be cool if they put the Peterbilt logo or even like a license plate up there. Going along to the body, the body is gonna be die cast. Uh, we do have up here, I am the Hulk, which is pretty cool. Then you got these things here, which are chrome. 
and uh, I'm not don't remember 100% offhand what those are. Um, aren't they like air boxes or something, air cleaners? But I could be wrong. Uh, then we get some paint down here for like the lights. We do have uh, Hulk's fist on the door. The steps are chrome. Side mirrors are chrome. The exhaust stacks are chrome. This part up here is plastic. Part of the uh, window shade. Um, the lights up here are chrome. They don't put any colors in the front of it. And with these, we only get opening doors. So you could take a look in there. Um, just all plastic, doesn't look like any color. None of the gauges are colored, anything like that. Of course, you can't cannot see into the sleeper. Uh, the sleeper part is plastic. Um, it's not open or anything. It's just a big chunk of plastic. Um, on the fuel tanks, though, we do have the Incredible Hulk painted with the chrome fuse box um, or um, fuel container. And then I think this is like the battery box. That's chromed. The back of the part is chrome. The bulkhead or whatever that's called. Then all this back here is plastic. The fenders, the fifth wheel, the chassis, all of it is plastic. I do have the two, the double wheels though. Um, going to the back of it, again, nothing. No license plate, no lights, nothing like that. And then here is your passenger side. It's going to be the same, same Hulk, same fist, um, the Hulk there. I don't know if I could get this door open. Oh, this door is a lot stiffer than the other one. So there's the inside. It looks like maybe the shift knob is chrome, but that is a very tiny shift knob for a truck. So other than that, I mean, like I said, the, the front engine, nothing like that opens. And these are a little front heavy because um, the the cab is die cast and then everything behind it is plastic. Um, it does, I mean, it still fits, sits pretty good, even though all the weight is in the front. So um, the greens kind of uh, match pretty good. You can tell that the painted one's a little bit darker, but overall pretty cool. Like I said, it's just a basic truck. But if you guys like truck and you like the Hulk, this is definitely a cool thing to have. And I do like the Peterbilt. All right, next up, we're going to the Western Star for um, Spider-Man. Let's see what we got here. Item number 35408, scale 124th, Western Star. Of course, the Marvel version. The base, again, is all plastic. Of course, it is a different casting because that's the Peterbilt. This is the Western Star. You do have the cab again is all die cast. The fenders here are die cast. The bumper is die cast, but the grill and bumper inserts are plastic. You do have the Western Star logo on this one, which I think is pretty cool. Then you got the typical steely looking wheels for the truck. Um, you got some chrome accents here with the Western Star logo again. You have the spider web on the hood in red and black, which look pretty cool. Then going along to the side here, we got the two-tone paint going from blue to the red spider web. You got Spider-Man's face on the door. Um, here's your steps that are chrome and plastic. Does have the fuel tanks again with Spider-Man on it. This bottom part here is plastic. Um, this is usually the handle to get into the truck is plastic. The side mirrors are plastic. And this interior, they're doing all blue. Again, no stickers for the gauges, nothing like that. The sleeper is um, closed off. Oh no, this one actually you can see back there. There actually is a sleeper back there. It's very hard to see because it's dark. But you can see back there um, kind of looks like there's just a bench. So this whole piece here is actually hollowed out. And this whole piece is die cast, unlike the bottom part is die cast. This top cone is plastic, though. And then the, again, the window shade is chrome. So that's pretty cool. The back is chrome. 
the step back here is chrome and then your fifth wheel and the chassis and all back here are plastic the fenders are pl um are they die cast or plastic they actually might be die cast your fenders might actually be die cast because you can tell the difference between the blues so your fenders are die cast of course you got the um differential is plastic going along to the back so we do have some chrome and some colored for the lights now with this truck it's a single wheel the other one had the dual dual wheels then your passenger side is going to be exactly the same spider-man logo interior all that good stuff so there is the unboxing. All right, so if you guys will let me know in the comments down below, first of all, which truck do you like better? And then which paint scheme do you like better? I love the Peterbilts. I love the way they sound. I love the way they look. So I'll have to go with the Peterbilt. Um, but I kind of like the um, Spider-Man Deco. I think on both of them, I think they could have done a lot more. But there's the unboxing. So before we go, I just do want to say thank you to all my crew members out there. Anybody who likes, share, comments, subscribed, I appreciate everybody. We're still growing the channel every single day, and it's because of you guys, the crew members. Um, so if you are new here and you are not a crew member, go ahead, go down below, hit the subscribe button, join the crew, become a crew member, hit the bell notification, give this video a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And then also down below in our links are all of our... Uh, links to our social media our sales page everything everything is now just under spend too much die cast so if you just google spend too much die cast everything will come up for the channel our sales page spend too much die cast .com. facebook is spend too much die cast instagram is spend too much die cast whatnot is spend too much die cast ebay macari everything is now under spend too much die cast so it should be easy for everybody to find it so I hope you guys enjoy this unboxing. There'll be a lot more to come, especially if you're a Marvels fan. I got a whole bunch more Marvel to do, and we have DC cars and all that good stuff. So again, thank you everybody for watching this video, and we'll see everybody on the next unboxing. Bye.